What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 133 update. This week, they've added three operations to Sticks, making all Sticks missions now operations. We also get some news about Prometheus 2, a major map expansion and content update for Prometheus. And also, next week, a new animal and fruit coming, the Kiwi. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 33 Sticks Operations. Three new Sticks Operations to Open World. This basically completes Sticks, and that means that all Sticks missions are now operation, except for the exploration ones. They also have an update on Prometheus Part 2, which is a new hardcore expansion of the map, including new missions, quests, and creatures. And they get some news on next week's update with a special New Zealand flair to it. This week we get the Sticks operations, three of them to be exact. They are Rendezvous, Delivery, Abyss Research, and Remnant Extraction. They go on to say that they are working on Olympus as well, so they're trying to convert all missions over to Operations and Open World. And of course the old exploration missions are still missions, they're just not available in Open World. The conversion of the Olympus missions over to Operations is going to be a much longer process, so they'll keep us updated as they update those. So let's take a look at that real quick. So when you go into your open world and go to your contact device, you should see in your operations three new missions. And basically every mission that is available on the mission screen should now be available as an operation on sticks, except for the exploration. And the exploration missions are the only ones that you cannot do on sticks now in open world course because it's open world exploration was the mission that was meant for before open world whatever it was a 30-day prospect and you could do a lot of stuff in 30 days back then and of course on this screen we also see the three new operations they added which is the remnant extraction here in the top right corner and then in the bottom right corner we'll see the other two missions down here rendezvous delivery and abyss research and of course i'm not going to click on them but you can click on them to start the operations and go through the whole operation don't screen. ask for help unless they have to of course i'm not going to do it because i've done these missions a million times and they're not new to me i've actually completed every single mission in sticks so they are available now in open world and this week, if you have any in-progress missions on both Styx and Olympus, they're going to be affected by a conversion process of some of the missions to operations. And to combat that, they have a special branch on Steam, which will show you how to access. If you go over to Icarus in Steam under Library, right-click it and go to Properties, then go to Betas, and click on Beta Participation you'll see a new version here which is available called pre-operation upgrade and this is prior to the mission upgrade so if you need to go back and complete a mission before you upgrade to the most stable or current branch then you can go back to this branch complete the mission and then update and go to the most current branch alleviating any issues with the missions that you may have and they also give us a little bit of news of Prometheus Part 2, which is new content coming to New Frontiers, the DLC. The DLC was released unfinished, so they are working on finishing it. They're developing a southern area of the map, which includes new storylines, new modified creatures, and new expanses to explore. It's going to be a really hardcore area of the map with very limited resources and intense weather patterns and volatile volcanic and blizzard biomes. That's going to be for players who want to punish themselves to survive all the cards stacked against them. Yeah, that might get me back to playing Icarus. Some kind of new content. And they also go on to say that next week we're getting the kiwi and kiwi fruit. They say next week is a special week in New Zealand as Friday they celebrate Mata Riki. They go on to say that the new kiwi will actually spawn in Olympus and Styx. And the new kiwi fruit seed you can purchase from the Orbital Workshop and special Mata Riki mission DLC. Really? That will be granted to all players who own Styx. Okay, wonder how much that DLC is. Hopefully it's just you own sticks and you get that DLC. This week we do have a change log, so we're going to take a look at it real quick. In the new content section, they just mentioned the new operations and the changes over to operations, basically. We're going to take a look at the fix section this week. They do mention here, they said they added the ability to feed tame creatures many more foods by hand and prevented non-animal feed from giving buffs to tame creatures. And it looks like they worked on some clipping issues and stuff with building pieces, interior wood pieces in the corner. 
Then they moved the turret's pitch to 50, and you can finally repair the CHAC pistol at the repair bench. And we got a little bit of a future content section here, so we'll skim over that. Looks like we're getting some kind of new railing gates new building piece icons adding railing gate animations and blueprints adding a stone brick building tier ice frame pillar so it looks like we're getting some new building pieces for sure ice building pieces stone corner stairs bp here's some interesting things in this one added new building piece icons for ice korea stone advanced beams curved walls diagonal curved walls curved roof angle sets concrete railing gate so it looks like they're making a railing gate out of most of the materials ashlands and ice sheet audio logs looks like we're gonna have a kiwi repopulation mission and a kiwi nest for the mission so we're getting kiwi fruit seeds and a shop pack and growth states calling it the Matariki quest and they're setting up a new wolf spawning den that can be destroyed and that's it for this change log and thank you so much to the late night crews, KHX, Sergio, Wolfie, Sandy, Silver, John, Rodnob, Aaron, Steady Bob, Jim K72, Kristen, J Bird, Fubar, Chris, Sky Reaper One, Valiant, Fabio, and Tyler. Thank you so much for being supporters of the channel and for being part of the late night crew. And thank you to our supporters as well. And that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Subscribe will get you weekly Icarus update videos and content videos whenever those come out as well. Hopefully everybody is staying hydrated in all this heat and oppressive heat we've been having going on. Sorry I haven't been putting out a lot of content lately, and that's mostly because life has been kicking us down. We've been working a ton, and we're going to be working again this weekend, but we will stream this weekend. We'll have those out sometime today, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace.